Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, how does dry weather sound for the next several days? <laughs> well deserved and we'll finally get some sunshine coming up for tomorrow as well. After the wet and cool conditions today, head outside. Good visibility in most areas. Now there is some lingering humidity, even though the, the rain has pretty much moved out uh, with the high humidity. There may be a little bit of patchy fog later on, but we're heading in the right direction. Skies will be clearing out and it sets up for a decent Thursday. High temps today, only low 40s. You throw in the rain, the drizzle, and it certainly felt raw. 42 the high today in Providence. It's down to 38. Most locations above freezing. Smithfield now at 35 and up at 30s along uh, the coastline. That includes Cumberland coming in now with clouds and 35 degrees. So we are drying out tonight and eventually clearing out. And here comes the sun at about time for thir uh, Thursday. Blue skies, a little milder. I mean, a cool day, but certainly not as chilly as the last couple. We're thinking about 45 to near 50. Our next weather system, we've been highlighting this now for the last several days, uh, watching the weekend. Now, Saturday is dry, at least Saturday day. Uh, but by uh, late, late Saturday night, and especially on, on Sunday, we're looking at a chilly rain. Uh, an offshore storm system we feel is going to come close enough to give us some rain, not snow, but rather rain. And I'll show you that in more detail in just a second. On the satellite and radar composite, just a couple of little speckles of green indicating a few sprinkles, mainly eastern Massachusetts. The bulk of the rain has pushed up towards the down east Maine with an offshore storm. Behind that, skies have already cleared out through upstate New York, so high pressure fair weather system right there building in. So that's our weather for tomorrow with some sunshine. This moisture across the central plains. Initially, the bulk of this is going to move into the Great Lakes tomorrow. And then by um, the latter part of the weekend, we'll start to see some moisture uh, returning. But dry weather next several days. Now we're chilly across the northeast, but this is nothing extreme or brutal. It's just kind of typical November coolness and then milder across uh, the central plains. So get in real close and we'll walk you through things hour by hour. Watch the time bar. Gray represents the cloud cover and of course the green is the rain and that is heading offshore. Skies are clearing overnight. Here we are tomorrow morning. That's more like it. Sunshine dry road starting off at 35 at 7 a.m. And we're in the upper 40s, almost 50 by about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Nice day, blue skies and dry, so no weather issues. The evening commute driving home. You don't need the windshield wipers. You got good visibility and dry roads at 6 o'clock. And then later tomorrow evening at 11 o'clock, some clouds on the increase, but staying dry with temperatures at that time at around 35. So a little bit of a chill naturally early in the morning, but sunshine gets to work in about 45 to 50 should do it during the afternoon on a northwest breeze at 5 to 15 miles per hour. Friday is actually a milder day at 56 and approaching cold front. Now just a small, small chance of a passing shower late in the day, but a majority of a day is dry. It is dry and cool on Saturday. It's late, late Saturday night into Sunday. Feel as though this ocean storm will come close enough to all this green to bring us a chilly rain both a Sunday morning and into Sunday afternoon. Unfortunately, that does coincide with the Patriots game, but check back with us on the timing on that. But right now a 50 50 weekend and a real nice Thursday considering where we've been sunshine and dry with high temps 45 to Near 50. I was thinking we were living in Seattle there for a little while, you know. <laughs> I know. Where they see the sun maybe twice. <laughs> yeah, I know. All right. Thanks, guys.